Hello, and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgeman. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stylize and design your site. Uh, one of the biggest problems that people come to me when they're working on their sites is they're trying to figure out how to design it and make it look professional. And while it takes a designer's eye to really make a professional site, there is a lot of control that you have over your end that you can really do a lot of changes without needing a professional designer. So what I'm going to show you today is basically the basics of how to stylize and design your Squarespace site. So when you're logged into Squarespace and you click on View Page and you go to this kind of preview section of your site, you're going to notice there is this little section down here where you have the opportunity to essentially do a few different options. You have the ability to manage your site, which takes you to the back end where you can change the content. You also have the ability to edit the content of your site, which allows you to edit every the text and any layout right here. And last, you have the ability to change the style of your site, change the visual style of your site, adjust the fonts, colors, sizes, and more. And so that is what I want to show you today here. So we're going to click on Change Style. And when we do that, this little style editor is going to pop up on the left-hand side of the screen. And I want to point out that every single theme has different parameters and different options on the style editor. So you may or may not have the same options that I'm showing you here right now. But essentially all of Squarespace's themes have their own options and styles. So what I encourage you to do when you're trying to design your site is simply go through and try to play around with every single th setting on here to figure out what it does and eventually you'll figure out how to make it work for you. So for example, we have this site width option right here. And if I hover my mouse over it, it turns into a little scrolling bar. And I can make my site wider. I can make my site narrow. Or I can leave it at 970, which is where I have personally found to like it. Now we also have this option, which again, this canvas setting, which may or may not be uh, the same for your site, but you can change the site width. And what you'll see is that has now made my header a little more narrow in my bar there. Or I can change it to full width. And now the site becomes a little wider. You have these options for canvas offset, uh, canvas padding, which uh, that's actually not really doing much here. Uh, canvas border size, lines and decorations. Uh, you can change the color of that. So you see this line right here. Well, what if I wanted that line to be yellow like the rest of my site? Could actually change that color to yellow right there and make that matching the rest of my site. But I'm going to leave that as gray because I liked it. Uh, you have the option to hide delimiter. Uh, the delimiter, a lot of themes have this option. And when I change that, what you see is this little slashes between each of the navigation items. Some people like it, some don't. For my personal site, I don't quite prefer it, so we're going to hide the delimiter. Uh, the header, I'm not going to dive too much into this because generally the header is one of the options that is most theme specific. So you're really going to have a lot of different options here that are definitely specific to the individual theme. Um, so we'll scroll down kind of beyond all this. Um, but again, I encourage you with every theme, it's a little different. So just play with these options, try to move things around and just try to create a site that looks and feels like you want it to. Uh, it may take some time, a little kind of back and forth, but over time, if you play with these options enough, you can create a decent looking website. Uh, and now we'll go down to here to the navigation. Um, one thing that is common on most of the themes is this navigation spacing icon option. And that's basically uh, how much space is above or below your navigation. So maybe I want to have a lot of space in my navigation, kind of give it some padding. Or for me, I personally like just to have a little bit of padding, not too much there at all. So navigation spacing, again, that's a very common one you're going to see in a lot of themes. Um, this is another big one that allows it. A lot of themes have the ability to choose where you want to put the navigation. So I could have it above my banner and have the navigation at the top of my site. Or whoop, Where did my... Oh, there we go. Sorry. Or I can put it below my banner and have it right there underneath my logo. You also have the ability, sometimes maybe I want my navigation to the left of my site, to the right of my site, or I want my navigation center. 
And again, I have the ability to disable the navigation border. And suddenly that little line just disappeared that we were stylizing earlier. Now a big thing is the main con of this content of the site, and almost all of the themes will have this, where you have the ability to choose and design your H1, H2 tags. You also have the ability to change your canvas background. So what if I want my page content to be gray? Well, here I can scroll down, and now everything on my site becomes gray. Maybe I want it to be red. No, that looks kind of terrible, so we're not going to do that. We'll leave it here at white. But there you have the ability to kind of change the canvas background, the color of your site. Uh, you have to also have the ability to edit your H1, H2, and H3 tags, which if this confuses you, these heading 1, heading 2, and heading 3, then check out my video on how to change font sizes in Squarespace, and that will go in a little bit further. But basically, uh, what, I, what you do here, this is on any of these fonts, you have the ability to click your heading 1, and here you can change your font si or your font type, so what font you're using. You can change the style, whether you want it to be 100 point, 700 point, maybe I want it to be in italics, uh, or I don't want it to be in italics. You can change your font size, your line height. You can make it uppercase, lowercase. I can change the letter spacing. Uh, anything along these lines. So these heading options here and these text options go a long way. If I wanted to, I could also change the heading color. So maybe I want these to be yellow, just like my rest of my site. And I could make my headings bright yellow, which doesn't look good, so I'm going to leave them as black. Uh, here you also have the ability to go and edit your body text. So maybe I want a you know simpler or a serif on my site. So I could click PT serif. And now the, all of the fonts on my entire site, all of my body text has completely changed to a serif. But I'm not a big serif guy personally, so I'm going to leave it as Lato. Again, you can change the font size of everything. I can make the whole font on my site site enormous or I can leave it where I had it and I liked it or I can make it real tiny no one can see it or we leave it right here at 15 pixels which is where I've grown to like it you can always if you can't get it exactly you can type in these little windows as well you have ability to change your line height to make it denser or taller uh, so if you want to make change that for ease of readability, you can do that as well. And then letter spacing. Again, that's uh, similar to what we had in the heading there. You can choose how much space is between each letter. And uh, page spacing. This is a common one you're going to see as well. And also when you scroll over a lot of these attributes, you're going to see how it has this little blue dots appear. Generally those appear around whatever attribute you're editing. So page spacing, this is going to show up on a lot of the themes, and that is the space between your header and your actual page content. So if I cut this down to zero, uh, you're going to see that my there's really no padding between my navigation and my page content. And I can also make it a lot of padding, which might be a little much, and it's just a lot of white space. But this allows you to choose the amount of space between your page content and your navigation. You have the opportunity to go down here and work on your footer. So I can change the size of my footer text. Maybe that's a little small for me, which it honestly kind of is. So you can change that contact and all any of the text that's down here in your footer section you can change. Uh, you can change the footer alignment. You can get rid of this footer border. And then um, a lot of, you also have the option, a lot of themes have social icons. So I can change the actual size of my social icons, and make them really big if I want, or real tiny. Or I can just leave them somewhere in between. You can change the social icon color. And again, this is the, not every theme has this, but a lot of them do. You can change the style. So I can make them squares. I can make them round. Or I can leave them normal. And then again, a lot of this is uh, kind of specific to my theme, but a lot of times you can change the positioning of these. Uh, the blog, I won't go into that because that's very theme specific. And then this is another one. You also have the ability to edit and change these buttons. And a lot of people don't realize this, but if I want to change this button right here that I've created, I could change the 
color on that, which I'm going to copy this so I can go back to it. But what if I wanted that button to be yellow? I can cl simply click that and change the button color. I'm going to leave it as blue because that's how I like it. But then you also have the ability to change, do you want it just to be an outline? Do you want the button to be raised? Have this kind of little 3D look? Or just solid? You can choose whether you want a square button, a pill button, or a rounded corner button. And then you can change the text color on the button and the button font size. And you actually have the ability to do this with multiple different button sizes, which I'll actually get into in a little bit further of a video. But basically, this is the style editor is how you're going to go about editing and adjusting the look and feel of your Squarespace site. Uh, again, this takes a bit of a designer's eye sometime, but generally, this is a good place to get started. If you have any questions on your Squarespace site, uh, feel free to reach out to me at jake jorgovincom squarespace, and I would be more than happy to help you out with your site. Thanks, and check back again for more videos in Squarespace tutorials.